Hello everybody, this is the uh, upgrade now on the front brakes for the uh, 76 Cutlass from a 95 Caprice. Um, again, real quick, I went with the Caprice because it has 15 inch rims. Um, I'm sure the Impalas are the same. I'm guessing they are the same, but this was off of a Caprice. Same as I did for the back here. I did the disc brake setup on this one. Uh, I have another video on it. You see, they're in there. Everything's in there, no problem. Everything fits. Uh, I said I was gonna do a video on the fronts if they worked, and what things I had to go, what things I fa uh, had to face. Okay, I just I just mocked it all up. I just put this is I just got it out of the boneyard, and I just put it all together real quick. Made sure my ball joints are tight. You can use your, your same factory ball joints. These are the original ball joints. Well, they were replaced, but factory ball joints for the 77, you know, 76 cutlass uh, later A bodies. Uh, lower is the same. Tie rod is the same. And, you know, the angle and everything is the same. It's all, all goes good. These rotors are like 11, 11 inch or something like that. Uh, I had replaced mine. There's my originals. These are only um, 9.5s, I think it was. Uh, so I changed. Only thing I have to had. Only thing you have to change is the uh, is the spindle and the rotors. Spindle ro well spindle rotors and the bearings. You want the you want the bearings from the Caprice. Uh, and uh, that's 90 to 96 like I said these are I believe are 11 inch um, my actually I was able to use my original brake line okay um, I didn't have to I didn't have to change out the brake line see I grabbed the brake line while I was there just in case and uh, to see if it would work or if in case this didn't work um, calipers the same is the exact same caliper everything's in everything's bolted in um, you know, caliper's not super tight right now. I just got to thread it in there and make sure it lined up. It's still all dirty and everything. It got to be cleaned. But all that works. So to do the swap from a 94 to 96 Caprice M slash Impala, um, not 100% on the Impala because those came with 16-inch rims. I don't know if it's a little bit bigger. Um, but for the Caprice, it does work. Uh, works with a 15, a, a stock 15 inch rim. Uh, same thing, same issue is the lug pattern. That's the only other issue you're going to have is the lug pattern. Um, and I, I had just bought the adapters. Um, I'll see if there's another way I can maybe have them drilled or whatever for my correct lug pattern. The only problem I notice is my rims, the cutlass rims. On the back, it did it did it too. Right here, the way they're designed is they hit right here on the hub, the back side of them. If I can flip this over here and show you, this part right here was hitting the hub, would hit the hub, center hub. So it would have to, you know, it's still not big enough there. So, I mean, yeah, maybe putting a, a shim, in, uh, one spacer, just a spacer and, you know, having re-drilled or whatever and then a spacer maybe do it or something. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, another thing I did notice, though, when I was there, I was going to grab it, but I was like, it was almost the end of the day. You see how small this sway bar is, this small little thing uh, for this big ass car. I was looking at the Impala one, and it looks almost the exact same, but it's so much. It was so much more beefier. Um, so I might grab it just to see if it works. In worst case scenario, I will have to bring it back. Make sure they mark it so I can bring it back. Um, I know I did notice some of them were small ones, you know, about this size, maybe a little bit bigger, and then there was a real big one. I'm I'm assuming the police package ones came with the bigger one. Uh, but that's just something I'm gonna I'm gonna try out and see if it works, uh, and then maybe I'll make a video and let you guys know if it worked or not. 
that's on the sway bar but all this is in everything's tight ball joints are not loose um you know i snugged everything up now i'm just gonna take it all back apart so i can clean everything i only did i only did grab just the one spindle just the one side just to make sure it worked there's no sense in me buying, ripping out two sides and it not working uh you can use your 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 same pads and everything for you know the 70 70 uh eight early or late a body cars um pads are the same caliper is the same everything uh you see right there's the other caliper i grabbed this caliper because it would look like it was new i mean just going by the like the bleeder the bleeder looked pretty nice it had new pads in there you know well newish but i'm not gonna keep them anyways i'm gonna take them back i don't need them uh but you know it's it's still a little old but no big deal i mean it's not too bad but i'll take it back because i don't need it so that's that's everything i mean everything works everything lines up uh the dust shield i was going to change it to this one because this my original is actually in better shape but i think my rotor is gonna the bigger rotor is gonna rub right here so i didn't i didn't change it it looks like it might rub right there um and like I said, you know, here, see, I even grabbed a lower ball joint just in case. Just in case. Uh, and the car actually had new uppers. Um, but I didn't grab them. I was like, you know, maybe it might all work. Just, you know, trial and error. Uh, so, other than that, I'm just to make this quick. So, you all know, everything works. Uh... The only, oh, the other th other thing I'm not I don't know yet because I haven't put it on the ground yet to find out is if it's going to change the location of my tire if the uh, the center of the spindle is higher or lower you know from the caprice to the cutlass so I don't know if my car is going to be sitting a little higher up in the front or a little lower in the front or what that I don't know yet I will uh I will have to check into that when I get the car back on the ground and everything um so there, that that may be a part or you know, maybe something too i'm not sure so again uh just so you know the only thing you need is just the spindle the rotor the bearings that's it you know that's it i mean you can buy new bearings you know um, I just bought, I just grabbed these because I, I just grabbed the whole thing all as one piece to make it easier on me. Um, so just, yeah, just a, the spindle and rotor is all you need. You can use your, your, uh, a body caliper. You can use your a body ball joints, upper and lower and tie rod. You see the tie rod goes right, tie rod will go in. And I already wiggled, I can't wiggle it right now with just one hand. Um, it, it mounts, you know, it mounts fine. It doesn't have no play. Uh, so that's it. That's everything. And it will, it'll work. Obviously, you know, it fits the 15 inch. I know it fits the 15 inch rim. Just the lug pattern is the one thing. You know, you have to buy the adapters or probably have them, if they can drill them or whatever, something to do to, change that you know so i can go with a, a stock my straight without this without the uh, adapter but this is just the like i said a quick little video just to give you a uh, little heads up on uh anything that was i had faced and which was not much at all i mean it all went right in really good so like i said the back's done the back is in uh i think i gave you guys a video of that last time you know you see it's all in there Everything's in, mount it. Um, and I got these rotors that are on there. I just got them on there. Those are, again, are just shit rotors. I'm going to buy, they have them on eBay. You can buy the whole set of drilled slotted for like under $200. Uh, and it comes with the pads. Uh, so I'm going to buy them, ceramic pads. So I'm going to buy that whole kit, that kit. Uh, I'll take the rotor back to the boneyard. That's why I made sure they marked everything. But, again, this is just for the uh, 
late A body, 73 to 77 uh, cutlasses or GM A bodies, late 73 to 77, you know, which is the uh, Buick Olds, Pontiac, and even the Chevys. Uh, so it all it convert right over. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do a video, let you guys know about the uh, sway bar if it works. Because it is a nice, it's a real nice beefy sway bar. Uh, again, make sure you look at them because there's more than one. I did notice that. I seen there was, I got lucky there was two cars right next to each other. One had a real small one, real thin one. Pretty much like the one I got. And then there was another real thick one. So, if you do try that, if, if it works and you guys go with that route, uh, just make sure you guys look really good to make sure you get the beefier one. Uh... And that's it. So, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And uh, appreciate you guys looking at the video and checking it out. And, you know, just leave a comment and uh, what you guys think. And uh, that's it. Have a good one, everybody.